praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Nightline. I am your host for this evening. I am Andy T. Broughton, and as always, I am so thankful just to be in your home zone this evening. We're going to have such an amazing time tonight. I have Sergeant Benny Dern with me. Tonight, he is the lead chaplain with the Wellness Services Unit. Greenville County Sheriff's Office, and I also have Investigator David Hanks. He's the Economic Crimes Greenville County Sheriff's Office. And tonight we're going to be talking about scam prevention. <laughs> I do have a scripture I would love to share uh, for your hearing. It's lifted from the, uh, the book of Psalms 27, verses 1 through verse number 2 from the King James Version. It reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. To God be all the glory for such a powerful word from the Lord tonight. And again, we just want you to pick up the phone and call someone and ask them to tune into Nightline tonight. I love this scripture because it says the Lord is. He's our present help in the time of trouble. He is our shelter in the time of a storm. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our light. And whatever we need, we can go to him Amen. for the glory of God. We have an amazing, beautiful uh, woman of God on with us tonight. She's Lynn Westerfer, and she's getting ready to sing, I Will Sing Praise. Amen. <laughs> Praise God.
she promised I met you who would see me through so I will trust in you you know we're gonna face the storms in life yes we will no matter the trials that are gonna come You promised that you would see me through. So I will trust in you. I'm going to trust you, Jesus. Well, that was the beautiful Lynn Westerfer singing, I will sing praise. And that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to be praising the Lord all night long. And she's going to be with us all night. So, again, pick up the phone and call someone, ask them to tune in. We do have some amazing prayer partners on hand, and we would love to hear from you on tonight. Again, I have two amazing, powerful men of God uh, with me tonight. I have Sergeant uh, Benny Durham and investigator David Hanks. Uh, before we even begin uh, tonight, I've asked Sergeant Durham if he will open us up in prayer. So we're going to ask you to do that, please. Sure, we be glad to. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to be here with Channel 16 tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for the ministry of this TV station. Thank you, yes. Lord, for the opportunities that this station has had for many, many years now. Yes. Uh, to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then tonight, specifically, we have the opportunity to be here to help uh, citizens of Greenville County and surrounding areas yes. and, uh, to be able to understand that not everybody's out for them today. Yes. There's, there's some people against them. And so help us to be effective in sharing warnings tonight about Thank these you, scams. Jesus. Thank you for Miss Annie. Uh, thank, thank you, Lord, you, for her work here at the TV station. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for her volunteer chaplain work with the yes. sheriff's office. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity that, that Miss Annie and myself and Brother David have to serve at the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. Thank we thank you, you for Jesus. our sheriff who supports us so much in the chaplain ministry. Thank and you, I pray Lord. you just continue to bless him as he leads us. And so God be with us tonight as we yes. share together. May your hand be upon us and may thank those you, that are listening tonight, I pray God that there would be at least somebody that would be steered away from being scammed Thank you, because Jesus. of what they hear tonight. And then most of all, we pray somebody be saved tonight. Yes. So you work in their hearts. We know you're Thank able you, to Father. do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. And so that's what we're asking for tonight, people to be saved Thank you, and Jesus. people to be warned. So you yes. be with us, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Tonight, uh, we are going to be talking about scam prevention, and I know that I was truly blessed to have you both with me on my talk show, Just Call Me Sarah, mm -hmm. and I feel mm -hmm. like this information that you all shared, that you shared, is so vital and so needed. Sure. So I wanted you all to come back and be with us yeah. on Nightline. <laughs> well, thank you for inviting us. Yeah, and, and I know that you've been on Nightline several times mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. but this is your first time being with me. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Glad to so, be here. <clears throat> thank you for being with me. Uh, Investigator Hanks, have you been on Nightline before? No, ma'am, I have not. Hey. This is my first time. Well, thank you for being with us. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to talk, and I want you to share as much as you like. Um, first of all, I want to ask uh, Sergeant Hanks, what, what is scamming? Scams? Uh, it's when other people take advantage of uh, vulnerable individuals mm -hmm. and basically taking their money away from them yeah. without them realizing it at first. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time they realize it, a lot of times it's too late. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we're here to try to educate the public and, and try to prevent some of these 
uh, scams from happening and mm -hmm. we found that the more education that we can do, yes. the better it is. Yeah. I know when you all were with me on Just Call Me Sarah, uh, you were saying that the elderly mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes are being more affected than anybody right. else. Right. So mm -hmm. how can we, you know, because I'm in that group. <laughs> I am too. We all are. <laughs> so how can we help the elderly uh, to not have this happen to them? Well, and I think it's education, as Brother David said, mm -hmm. uh, because it's not getting out there as much as we'd like to see it out there. I do, part of my responsibility as chaplain in the sheriff's office is a liaison with the churches. Okay. And so I get the opportunity to speak to a lot of senior adult groups at churches, and, and I always usually share at least part of it with scams. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I don't remember a time that I've shared without having somebody after come to me and say that I've, I've been scammed. Wow. You know, it, and I think the lowest amount I've ever heard is $1,000 and tens of thousands is some of the ones we hear now. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, we've got to get the word out and I would encourage all the listeners mm -hmm. to, you know, not hold this to themselves, to share that and spread that. And of course, if they're involved in a church or a community group, yeah. you know, a neighborhood group, whatever, I'd be glad to come out and speak to them about that. So yeah. all they got to do is call the sheriff's office and we'll be glad to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I'm glad to, to hear that because, you know, like, it's, we need to get the word out. That's we need right. to educate mm -hmm. as much as we yeah. possibly can. Yeah. Um, what kind of scams are there? Can you share any scams? Oh yes, uh, there's there's so many. It's hard to sit here and name them all. Okay. Um, you can also go on to um, the FBI's website and you can read as all, you know unlimited of all the types of scams. Mm -hmm. But I kind of picked out a few that we know that kind of uh, pop its head out more often than, mm -hmm. than not. Um, and one of them is our grandparent scam. It's kind of oh. been around for a long time, mm -hmm. but um, basically it is the, the older person, uh, it's not necessarily anything is wrong with them uh, by their mind or mental uh, capabilities or anything like that, mm -hmm. but it's catching them off guard, mm -hmm. uh, the shock. And so they get a call from someone portraying to be a grandchild and, mm -hmm. and said that they been, got in trouble while they were traveling or something and and that a uh, an officer or a, uh, a bondsman or somebody was going to call them yeah. and tell them what their bond is going to be and they would wind up um, paying this unknown in person through some means, and uh, next thing you know, they've lost thousands of dollars. Wow. And all the while that their grandchild is not in any kind of trouble. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot of times. Um, it's hard to prevent those because it catches you off guard. Mm. Wow. Yeah, and, and it kind of, they may disguise their voice a little bit and they mm -hmm. say, uh, you know, that don't quite sound like you. Well, I, I, I've got a cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or I, I was in a wreck. I'm okay, mm -hmm. but you know, it just kind of, I got some mm -hmm. uh, something, you know, hitting the throat or whatever, mm -hmm. something to kind of yeah. make an excuse for why they didn't sound like themselves. Mm -hmm. so. so once a person is scammed, can they get that money back? <laughs> <laughs> More often than not, but I yeah. mean, they, they, it's hard to get the money back from. Yeah. Once it uh, depends on how they pay it. Um, yeah. If through gift cards or they wire money, kind of depends on how they do that. We may be able to track it down and relate mm -hmm. it to another jurisdiction if, if possible, but a lot of times once that money is gone, it's, it's hard to trace back again, yeah. to get it back. Mm -hmm. So is it just the elderly that's been up there? No. No, it's, uh, it, it's not just the elderly. I'd say the majority may be. Yeah, majority is but, elderly. Um, uh, we have we have do have some young people okay. and middle aged folks. That, it depends on the type of scam, but more right. of the you know obviously the grandparent scam is going to be the older people. Okay. Um, but uh, there are uh, imposter scams as well. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is someone will call. Uh, and like I had the other day, I had one called portraying to be someone from the Federal Trade Commission. Mm -hmm. Okay. And told my victim that they were uh, a victim of identity theft and that they had to 
remove all their money out of their bank accounts. Mm. And the imposter calls and says that um, they have to, they'll be provided with a, what we call a wallet number, okay. which is involved with cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. And so that person would go down to a, a Bitcoin machine and enter their money into this Bitcoin machine and goes to this wallet. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, that money spreads out like a, a tree branch. It just goes from place to place. And that makes wow. it very difficult to, to trace. It's possible and even possible to get back, but time is of the essence when that happens. But a lot of times these things go on. Uh, when they're reported, it's usually too late. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and they're they're portraying us, mm -hmm. yeah. the law enforcement. Officers. They'll use real names of law enforcement officers and spoof the number from the sheriff's office. So our non-emergency number is spoofed several times. So if you looked at that and looked the number up, or even on the screen, it'd show that. Mm -hmm. So and so yeah, there's there's another scam that that's really more. So not elderly people. Mm -hmm. Had a friend of mine, his wife almost got scammed in it, the jury scam, that you missed jury duty. Wow. And they'll call you and say, you've missed jury duty and you're gonna be arrested unless you pay this fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll even tell you that they want you to come to the law enforcement center, which makes it sound legitimate. Right. Like, well, if I'm going to the law enforcement center, surely that's legitimate. Uh, but then they keep you on the phone and while you're on the way, then they'll say, we need you to detour, you know, we're not going to be able to be at the law enforcement center, go to the Walgreens or something, buy these cards and then give us the numbers. <laughs> and so people are afraid they're going to be arrested for not being for jury duty. And they'll right. say, well, I didn't get the letter. And they'll be like, well, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And this is, normally that one is hitting a lot of uh, the younger people, you know, middle-aged people. Right. Uh, people that would assume maybe I was called for jury duty, mm -hmm. you know. And so, but the big thing to remember, they will never, 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 be a law enforcement officer, call anybody on the phone okay. and ask for money. So if anybody's, at, and everybody says, what do we need to do? And the answer is hang up on them. You know, just hang up the phone. There'll never be an officer call and say, you've got a warrant over the phone. Okay. We'll show up at your door if you got one of those. Show up at the door, baby. Yeah. One, of my, my, um, one of my family members was in falling prey to one of these uh, scams mm -hmm. uh -huh. and they actually, uh, emailed him a copy of a warrant. Yeah. Now this warrant was, <laughs> it was nowhere near the real thing, obviously. Mm -hmm. It had uh, cut and paste all uh, from other agencies. It had uh, California penal code written on there mm -hmm. and it had South Carolina Supreme Court mm -hmm. at the top. And it was just, it was, to, you can spot it, it was obviously fake. Mm -hmm. But someone who's not aware of that or familiar with it, that would scare them a lot. Right. Yeah, you know, scare the, yeah. the fright of being arrested that people are willing to do anything. Most people who's doing that never seen a warrant, so they wouldn't know what a real one looked like. Right. So the fake ones look real to them. So yeah, that's, that's the key thing. If it's involving law enforcement, if it's involving your bank, you know, they're not going to be calling you on the phone to do that. I, I don't know of a single time mm -hmm. that anybody would ever call you law enforcement, banks, financial transfer, and ask for personal information over the phone or get you, if the key to that whole thing, if they say get some cards and give us the numbers, yeah. it's not legitimate. Hang up. Uh, yeah, hang up. Don't even get into the conversation. And okay. I've, I've even talked to some, they'll say, but I want it to be true. I want them to, you know, like winning prizes. You know, so that's one of them. You won this Mercedes, you won it, but you gotta pay the tax first. Oh. If you win something, you don't have to pay tax to get it. You know, you, now you'll be taxed during the process of yeah. it. But uh, sending that money, I know two ladies, one of them who lost everything she had and even went and had her car title at one of these title loan places mm -hmm. to get money because she'd done give them all the other money and uh, then exhausted that as well and she's lost everything she had. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So, you know, you just, you've got to hang up and they, a lot of times they won't believe their family that it's fault. They're like, no, it's true. They build relationships. A lot of times it's not a one-time call. Yeah. You know, these romance scams, they build relationships. We had one just the other week. Guy was left over the address, thought he, he doesn't give this woman all of his money over the phone, you know. He's supposed to meet her over at this address, and of course it's a false address. It's too wow. late then, so. But that's the key to it. Don't talk to them. Hang up. <laughs> yeah. And you hang up on them, you don't even have to make a report then. So, Amen. Yeah. Just hang up, and that's the thing about it. Uh, that's, I think that's the best word we say to all yeah. of them. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, just don't entertain them with any more. Just hang yeah. up on them. Yeah. Wow, so you see tonight, we're trying to give you some great information to safeguard yourself from being scammed. Right now, we get ready to go back to Lynn Westifer, and she's getting ready to sing Your Grace Still Amazes Me. <laughs> Still. 
me. We are truly honored and so very blessed to have Lynn with us tonight. She is such a beautiful gift to the body of Christ, and we are truly blessed. But tonight, I'm also blessed to have Sergeant Benny Durham. He's the lead chaplain with the Wellness Services Unit, Greenwood County Sheriff's Office. And also, we have Investigator David Hanks. He's with the Economic Crimes, the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office. And so tonight we've been sharing some valuable information that we all need to hear about how to prevent ourselves from being scammed. So I want to ask, <laughs> what is mail theft incidents? Mail theft is running rampant around Greenville County. Okay. Um, it's scattered all over. Basically, you've got someone who is either they follow the mail trucks around wait for mail to be delivered or they'll go through neighborhoods and look for their flags to be raised and uh, they'll take the mail out of the mailboxes oh they God. go to where cluster boxes are like apartment complexes yeah. they'll pry those open steal the mail they'll even steal mail out of the blue uh, drop boxes at the post offices and scattered yeah. around their goal is to get uh, checks that people mail or gather important information. Um, could be a bank account numbers, it could be some personal information of someone. And uh, they'll get the checks, they'll take them and wash them, what we call wash them, or uh, recreate them, or make a counterfeit check out of it, and take it to the bank. Um, and so uh, we try to tell everybody that don't put your mail in the mailbox and raise the flag. You're, you're just telling the thief Alert. that there's something there. Mm -hmm. Take it to the post office. Take it inside the post office. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to do, and we've had incidents where uh, people are mailing their tithes in to churches, mm -hmm. and they're stealing the checks from the church mailboxes. Oh, my yeah. Lord. And they get cashed all over the place. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're alerting people to, to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that might go unnoticed for a while because the church is not going to call and say, hey, we missed your tithes this month. You know, yeah. they're going to, uh, you probably won't find out about it till the end of the year when you get a list of all your tithes that you, and you see that, wait a minute, I, I know I wrote a check for that date. Right. And it's missing. Mm -hmm. And you won't know about it. And uh, most people don't uh, get their checks back. And uh, a lot of younger people don't even have checks now, but they're still people write checks out there right and uh, that's that's all they you yeah. know do to pay their bills and so we're kind of mm -hmm. alerting mm -hmm. people to that uh, that activity that's going on and you may be may not even be a check that's missing I answered a call it's been about six or eight months ago mm -hmm. and they somebody found mail on top of the mountain up there at highway 25 north highway 25 on the side road and I get there and they'd went through all this mail and trying to find the checks and so I just felt bad and I had the time, so I just delivered the mail that day. So wow. I went and actually <laughs> delivered it to the people. Yeah. And I was all up in that whole area up there mm -hmm. off North mm -hmm. Highway. And one guy said, you don't know how special this is because I run a business and I've been waiting on this permit. Yeah. So they didn't steal it, but they took it out of the mail. They'll just grab it and go. Mm -hmm. And this per he said, without this permit, I couldn't continue my job I'm on. Yeah. And so you may be missing something and, you, and what's happened, they've stolen out of your mailbox and you think they never mailed it. So. Mm -hmm. You know, not only the check, I actually got one stolen out of my mailbox one time about three years ago, four years ago. And uh, so I quit oh. doing that. Don't put your checks in the mailbox. Don't put them in the mailbox. David box. says, don't even drop them in the blue box at the post office. They've got things that goes down there with sticky and brings all that stuff out of there. Mm -hmm. So you need to go inside. Uh, one of the better things I've seen too is they do make a mailbox now that's locked and, and has a, see, I had not looked at them close enough to know how you can yeah. mail anything. But when you get something, because uh -huh. the, if they think it's a check in your mailbox receiving it, they'll get it too. But they mm -hmm. do have some locking mailboxes. The mail 
delivery person will put it in, it goes into a slot. So yeah, yeah, don't trust. Don't that that flag is is a red flag, <laughs> literally <laughs> and, lit, and, and yeah. uh, figuratively. And My so there, yeah. people are stealing everything. It's we well, say everything's not tied down. They're stealing stuff's tied down now. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah, don't don't put the mail as a horrible thing to, to try to keep your stuff now. And what are rental scams? Yeah. Well, there is uh, as you know, you can go online to Facebook or any place and looking for a home to rent mm -hmm. and you come across one and you make contact with this person and Lo and behold, you find out this person um, is not really the owner of the house, and oh. but they lead you to believe they are, and mm -hmm. they'll collect your information, personal information. Mm -hmm. They'll collect deposits. You'll send them the money, and they'll even have a way for you to move in. Um, a lot of houses have lock boxes on them, yeah, and <laughs> they'll have people calling. Um, I can't think of the name of it. It's a a company that has the combination for all these lock boxes mm -hmm. and someone will call that company portraying to be like a realtor and they'll get the code for that box so they can tell that person what the code is the person that's renting the house they'll open that box take the key and and go on in and set up house and then they find out later on when the owner real owner comes by that they're not supposed to be there mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! So that and, and that's 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 your younger people are falling yeah. for that kind of thing. And they even have a what looks like a legal lease agreement. Yeah. That they'll sign, and it's not a it's not a legal lease agreement. It, two you weeks can get ago, those online. Did. Yeah. Two you weeks ago, online. there was two people scammed with that, and uh, paid the deposits first month's rent. The house didn't even belong to the person. So be careful, you know, like places like Facebook Marketplace and all. Yeah. Be careful what you're doing on there because there's a lot of, they target those areas, try to get people. Try to do your homework, you yeah. know, find out, look it up, it's a lot of it's public index, mm -hmm. look it up, see who owns it, see if it's been for sale or see if it's even really for lease, mm -hmm. um, you know, and you just kind of have to spend that time doing yeah. a little bit. There's a, you know, uh, there's ways of finding out that information. And if you got that little voice in the back <laughs> of your head yeah. that says something's not right, mm -hmm. you better listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then y'all have uh, threats of a lawsuit. Did y'all mention that? Yeah, there was, um, we had a, c a collection company or someone posing a collection company mm -hmm. who, um, you know, was threatening a lawsuit for a, for a loan that a person really didn't have. Okay. And so that would, you know, obviously they were trying to get money out of this individual and there was never really a loan in that person's name. So it pays to, to check your credit report regularly. My and goodness. to do that, I would <laughs> tell people to go to annualcreditreport.com. That's the one the Federal Trade Commission recommends. Well, now, what's that? I'm going to write that down. Annual, <laughs> annualcreditreport.com. Mm -hmm. Federal Trade Commission is the one that uh, recommends that location. There's many out there, but that's mm -hmm. the one they recommend. My goodness. Yeah. So remember, the, and, and I think he gave you a list there of yeah. the ones down at the bottom. The, those are red flags. If it's any kind of a wire transfer they're telling you to do, any wire kind of transfer. money cards, gift cards, any of those things are red flags that this is a scam. And when you're talking to these individuals, they're, they want to make, hurry up, act now. Right. Uh, you better do this before it's too late. Mm -hmm. And also keep it secret. Don't mm -hmm. tell people what you're doing. Yeah, right. Keeping it don't very secret. Uh, yeah. just, just don't talk to anybody about it. If someone asks, just give them another excuse or something. So that's, that's usually a red flag too. One lady, they even told her, don't don't listen to the bank when you go get the cash out. Don't listen to them. They'll tell you that it's a scam. Don't believe them because they're in on it. Mm -hmm. And she believed them. When got the cash out, the bank's like, ma'am, you don't need to do this. And she said, they told me you'd say that. Whoa, so my gosh. it's just it's unbelievable how convincing they are. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, there's some good liars out there today, <laughs> and uh, they're very good at lying. Well, you said that there are a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Y'all really meant that, oh, right? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. I would say probably about every other report that we get involving some type of a scam. Mm -hmm. And we get a lot of them a day. Yeah. Um, there are five of us that handle this type in the Greenville County. Mm -hmm. There's uh, 
four in actual investigators and then one sergeant who investigates as well. Mm -hmm. And we've got our hands full with this. And it's hard to spend time on these and work on some of this other stuff that we do have. And um, it's not less important, but if we can educate the people right. about all this, mm -hmm. hopefully some of these scams will cut, cut way down. Right. Amen. Yeah. Well, I hope that you all are learning some things tonight because I know that I am. I know I had them on my show before, but I'm learning some even <laughs> new tonight. But right now we're getting ready to go back to Lynn Westerfer and she's getting ready to sing two songs, Jesus is the Answer and We Are Not Ashamed. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way I know you have questions In the corners of your mind Traces of discouragement, the peace you cannot find. Reflections of your past seem to haunt you every day. But this one thing I know for sure, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world. you think you cannot climb and your skies have seemed so dark you think the sun won't shine in case you have no no I'm here to tell you that the Word of God is true and everything he promised he will do for you
gospel of Jesus Christ for it is the
You know, I can listen to Lynn sing all night long. I mean, God has really gifted her with a glorious anointed voice and she's making her way over to be on the set with us tonight. But um, Sergeant Durham had a phone call, a message just come through on his phone and it was from Sergeant Austin Fowler and he's the assistant chaplain at Greenville County Sheriff's Office and his mother Christy Fowler was just admitted to the hospital. So we want to stretch our hands towards him right mm -hmm. now and her and ask God to touch her body. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever this infirmity is is trying to attack her, Lord, we're asking you to touch, mm -hmm. heal, and to deliver. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And yeah. thank you for everyone else that's been calling in tonight. To God be all the glory. Right. Lynn, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> hey, sweet Lynn. It's so good to see you again. Good, it's good to see I you. I was fascinated by what you gentlemen were sharing. Wow, mm -hmm. people have too much time on their hands, don't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, what happened to the days of break-ins in the houses? You know, they're just. <laughs> well, we still have that. No, okay, yeah, that's, all right, that's all right. That's still going on. <laughs> Robins, Devins, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for sharing that. But sure. Lynn. I want you to know that I am truly blessed to have you with us tonight. Very Thank good. you. The Holy Thank Spirit you. has really been using mm. you in such an awesome work, way. And the every song that you Thank just you. sang was just right on point. Amen. Thank you. Thank right you. on Thank time. You. Yeah, it is. In the name of Jesus. That's right. And so right. this handsome man that you're sitting next to, he's Investigator David Hanks. I want you to meet him. It's nice right. to meet nice you. To meet you. And then this is Sergeant Benny Durham. Good Sergeant, it's nice to meet, to meet you. you. <laughs> and this is Lynn West. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, I, I wanted you to come on tonight. First of all, you had to come. You had to be here. <laughs> and I am so grateful that God worked it out that you could be. Yes. Because I know that you are a busy young woman of God and you're doing great things. But you said you want to talk about caregiving tonight. Mm -hmm. I do. It, it, the caregiving is not what I wanted to share. Okay. It's what the Lord's been teaching me through that. Okay. And so my mom, um, I was a caregiver for my mom for three years mm -hmm. and daddy too. Mm -hmm. And mama passed away um, in December of last year, December the 28th. Um, while people were visiting us to see her and her dying days, yeah. they noticed that daddy was walking weird and he was talking kind of strange and they all thought we, we all thought he'd had a stroke. Mm -hmm. And turns out that um, I said, I can't do two at one time when mama's with Jesus, then we'll film it out. Turns out that daddy has ALS. Okay. He was diagnosed yeah. with that eight weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So here we are trying to grieve mama. And now we jump from the frying pan into the fire because ALS was nowhere on my radar. Right. And I had a meltdown for about four days. And I tell people, the Lord has a way of letting us do what we think we need to do as mm -hmm. long as we think we need to do it. And then at some point he says, honey, that's enough now. Let's sit, let's talk. Mm -hmm. you, you, let's talk. Mm -hmm. And Annie, what he has told me over and over and over, because my, my concern was, first of all, shock. And then I know how ALS turns out. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I'm, I'm by myself with daddy. There's no other man here. What am I going to do when? What okay. am I going to do when his legs quit working? What am I going to do when he can't breathe? What am I going to do when? And not to mention the finances. I, I just was in a lather and the Lord said, you are forgetting mm -hmm. that I know everything you don't know. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. I see everything yes. that you do not see. Yes. Yeah. And so stop forgetting that and you'll not find yourself in a meltdown. Yeah. And I've had two other ones since then. <laughs> two other, every time we have a, neurologi a neurological appointment, I have a meltdown. Yeah. And the Lord just, I mean, little things, Annie, like I forgot to get eggs at the grocery store. And it was just, you know, when you're in, when you're, when you're, when you're stressed, that can right. throw you over the edge. And I know that sounds very trite, but I was so frustrated at myself for forgetting those stinking eggs and I didn't want to go back out and leave daddy again. Right. Within 30 minutes, a friend of mine called that owns chickens and said, <laughs> my client does not want her eggs. Do you want them for free? I have two wow. dozen eggs for you. And I just burst into tears and the Lord said, Praise honey, God. if I'm showing you by this, if mm -hmm. I can take care of little things, Come on. don't you know don't you that know? I will do the big stuff. This yeah. eggs are insignificant. Mm -hmm. I have your daddy. I'm, I, I know what's going to happen. I know what I'm going to do for you. Do not worry. Stop forgetting that I see everything and I know everything. Mm. Yeah. And so I just have to 
testify to that and praise him that he is who he says he is. Amen. Yeah. And we cannot mm -hmm. forget that, right. you know? Yep. Well, Lynn, I know we only have a couple of minutes, just a few minutes left, but are you still taking ministry engagements? I am. I'm taking ministry engagements and I am a vocal coach. So if you need vocal coaching, call the number on the screen <laughs> and I would love to come and sing at your church or women's event or something like that. Yeah, because I wanted to ask about that because I know that you're Thank taking you. care of your father yep. and you know, your, your mother just passed yep. and so I know that you're going through still some heartbreak, but you are awesome. Mm. You are amazing. You. And when the Holy Spirit um, asked me to invite these two mighty <laughs> men of God on the set with me tonight, well, you know, he said, well, you know, you got to have lean. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love That's it too. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Very and much. I'm thankful for you being here. I'm thankful for you being here. And uh, I love this man of God right here. Mm. You know, since I've been you guys a part work of the, together, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a part of the Greenwood County Sheriff Office. He has been nothing but kind to me. Mm. And then when I got to meet Investigator Hanks, oh. I said, oh my God, you know. That's awesome. It's a blessing. I want to thank you both for coming on. Thank you for letting us be here. And for sharing uh, mm -hmm. the information you shared yeah. tonight because we all need it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Lynn, thank you for coming mm -hmm. on tonight and just being a blessing to us. Mm -hmm. You are awesome in every way. Mm -hmm. And is there a, a last little second takeaway you want us to, you want to share? I just want to say, when you're going through something tough, and we are, you have, you just mm -hmm. went through, and I am. Yeah. Do not forget yeah. that He is who He says He Amen. is. That's that's mm -hmm. the that's why I sing. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the only answer for the world today. Amen. Mm -hmm. What about you, Sergeant Jerry? You I want to share minute? another quick prayer request. Okay. We have a, one of our magistrate judges. Of course, mm -hmm. not he works with the East East Greenville Summary Court. Yeah. Judge Mark Edmonds. Mm -hmm. uh, found out last week he's eat up with cancer. Mm. 57 Aww. years old. Oh, and his family is asking us to pray. And I just feel like yes, we just yes. love people to pray for him. Uh, you know, no no sign of cancer. Was tired for two weeks. Oh. Passes out, goes to the hospital. He's eat up with cancer. Yeah. So the family will find out tomorrow. Yeah. They did a PET scan yesterday. They'll find out tomorrow if there's any hope of treatment. Yes. So we just want to pray for that. And, and just call us. If you've got any questions about scams, call us. We're there yeah. to help. Amen. Thank you so much. To God be all the glory. I am truly blessed tonight. And again, thank you for calling in tonight. Uh, Victoria called in to her daughter need prayer. Mm -hmm. So we're believing God for you as well. Um, someone else, Tim, wants prayer uh, for a raccoon problem in her home. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. No, it's Tina. So Tina. thank you, mm -hmm. Tina. We're God is concerned about everything that That's concerns right. us. Yeah. That's right. And so um, someone else called in and said the baby, uh, Brian, uh, has a problem and he only has one kidney. And I think the mother is still pregnant. She's five months pregnant. Oh, wow. So we're believing God for you tonight, for the baby to be born healthy sure. in the name of Jesus. Uh, someone has called in and said they just need prayer tonight. They have a rash, I think a Sue, uh, a rash in her eye. To God be all the glory. So we just want to pray tonight. We want to close out in prayer. We want to believe God for healing for everyone that called in. Amen. So Lynn, I'm going to ask you, sweet woman of God, I would love to. to just hold on to this prayer request. Thank you. Yeah. I would love to. Thank you. And we're going to ask you to just pray us out nightline tonight and believe God for miracle because you got a miracle this That's right. past week. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Thank Lord, you for Thank you for tuning in. First of all, God bless you. We love you. And we just believe in God for miracles to come into your life as well. Amen. Lord Jesus, we lift every one of these prayer requests. Thank yes. you that these people are watching tonight. Mm -hmm. And thank you that they took the time to call in their request. And so, mm -hmm. Father, we lift these to you. And the one that uh, the sergeant talked about, this yes. gentleman, God, we ask in the name yes. of Jesus that you will touch on their behalf yes. according you, to your holy will. Yes. And Father, I pray that you administer to every family that's involved in every one of these requests, not just the person, yes. but every family as well. Mm -hmm. And that you administer to those families. And Lord, remind them in those sweet, precious, gentle ways mm -hmm. that only you can, only that you are exactly 
who you said you right. are and everything you promised in your word, you're gonna do. Yes. You, I pray that these people, every person on these papers tonight mm. yes. would feel hope before they go to bed. Yes. Yes. We speak hope over them in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. We come against discouragement. We yes. come against against uh, deception. And, Father, and with these scams, we come against yeah. the spirit of deception. Yes. It's running rampant. Right. And we speak truth over these Thank households you. in mm. the name of Jesus. Name of we Jesus. pray this, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Thank you.